This is potentially a controversial topic. Just bear with me though. Let's look at it together and go into depth. The topic is called Lazy Path to Success. And I'm going to read a quote here by Robert Hanlon, who says, progress doesn't come from early risers. Progress is made by lazy men looking for easier ways to do things. I guess we can say that's how innovation comes about. What are we looking to achieve? How do we go about achieving it? And what's the easiest way of actually achieving it? Previously, in other videos, we've discussed as part of the goal setting series, KPIs, which means key performance indicators, and that we have lead and lag indicators. And what we wanna focus on is the lead indicators. The lag indicators tell a story. That is, they tell what happened in the past. But we also wanna to want to set lead indicators that will tell us how do we go about achieving the future? How do we write the story instead of tell the story? We also mentioned smart and smarter goals. In this particular video, we wanna focus on the Pareto Principle. Now, you might have heard the Pareto Principle mentioned to you as the 80-20 rule, the rule of vital few and trivial many, and the least e effort principle. Going back to the quote, progress doesn't come from early risers, progress is made by lazy men looking for easier ways to do things. Really uh, linked to each other there. So what does the Pareto principle say? The Pareto principle says that 80% of the results will come from 20% of the effort. What does that mean? That means that for 80% of the income, 20% of the clients actually provide those sales. Now, they can be either in, uh, in terms of the clients uh, that we have, or it can be in terms of a product. 20% of our products will yield 80% of our results. We can also attribute it to uh, causes and, and faults, maybe 20% of faults yield 80% of the effort that we need to uh, spend on them in, in terms of rectifying them, okay? So it's very important to focus on the 20% that yields 80% of the results as per the examples that we provided. Another area we could potentially see this happening is the clothing that we wear. We've got various articles, items of clothing and sometimes we find that we wear just a few, a lot more than others, whether they uh, particularly associate or, or linked with the particular style uh, that we want to wear or particularly maybe uh, the type of personality that we want to convey, our particular personality, right? So you, you see that applying to various things various situations. I'm going to provide some references here, some books that really do uh, relate to the 80-20 uh, principle, the Pareto principle here. The first one is called The E-Myth by Michael E. Gerber. And what Michael talks about, really tries to focus on in his books is policies, systems, and procedures. Without policy systems and procedures, we don't have a viable business. There is no foundation. So when you come to sell the business, really there is no foundation and it's not replicatable. So therefore there's nothing to sell other than the owner and the owner is moving on to something else. So having policy systems and procedures allows for efficiency. It allows for a new employee to come join the team and be able to refer to policies and procedures, get up to speed as to how things are done, follow steps and actually complete the work that's uh, set for them to do. Another book 
that I like to refer to quite a bit is the Five Love Languages by Dr. Gary Chapman. And Dr. Gary Chapman mentions five love languages which include words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, and physical touch. Now, there is a, what can I say, uh, a work uh, corporate version of this book that's come out, which is called The Five Languages of Appreciation. And based on my understanding, all that's been changed is physical touch, the intimacy aspect. Instead of, for example, um, you know, hugs, although you can still hug in the workplace, you might be doing things like fist pumps, uh, high fives, um, those types of uh, things, right? Pats on the back, those types of things, okay? So where does the five languages come into play? Well, they are intrinsic human languages. So if you have a partner who would rather quality time than receiving gifts, you would need to spend quality time with that partner. So that 20% focusing on the quality time will yield far more better results than giving them a gift. You might be the person who uh, likes to receive gifts. Um, you might like words of affirmation. They might like quality time and they will feel appreciated through quality time. The same thing in the workplace. You might have a staff member who appreciates quality time. So what a manager can do is go out, for, go out with them for um, lunch or potentially go for a walk with them and just let them know that they are appreciated. It will do wonders uh, for them. The other book is called Atomic Habits by James Clear. There's the book here. And it talks about getting the one percenters right, just 1% adjustments that yield incredible results over a period of time. And one example they mentioned is the British team, the English team, the cycling team that hadn't won uh, gold medals for quite a long time in the Olympics and wasn't winning the Tour de France. And some of the things they implemented was looking at their bed, looking at their pillow. Are they sleeping efficiently? Looking at the aerodynamics of clothing, the aerodynamics of helmets, aerodynamics of the bike, finally tuning the bikes, right? They brought in surgeons, as an example, right? A surgeon to show them how to best clean their hands and prevent them getting sick. So it's those little improvements, right, stacked up that yield incredible results. And they actually went on to win a multitude of gold medals and various Tour de France uh, tours. So again, you can see the importance of these one percenters. You know, they're, they're pretty much the 20% that year yield the 80% of the results. Reading books is another 20% because reading a few things and, and coming across different ways of thinking, different ways of implementing things, can achieve incredible uh, results. So it's important to always focus on the 20%, delegate the things that you are not particularly good at, focus on the, ten, on the 20% that you are good at, and that way you move forward, you achieve your goals, and you push the whole organization forward. As always, thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe, or hit the notification button to receive these videos as they come out so you can use them as soon as you possibly can. Uh, please also let us know what you think of the videos. Uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts, uh, what topics you want us to cover, and we'll look to do that in the next few videos. As always, we hope this has been of benefit to you and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. All the best till then.